So hello guys and welcome back to Science Tech. Today we are going to draw the Buckyball or the Buckminster Full Ring. It might sound a difficult task but once you follow me throughout the video, you should be able to draw one for yourself quite easily. So to get started you have to draw a pentagonal structure like the one I have drawn in front of you. Now the carbon electrons will be marked by a black pen here while the covalent bonds I will be using a red pen for them. So, after we have drawn this pentagon, we have to start by drawing lines parallel to the lines or sides of the pentagon. Okay, so we have drawn them as obvious we have to mark the ends of the lines by the black pen for the carbon electrons yes there it is done now draw five electrons in this position just a little bit away from the vertices of the pentagon you have drawn and well i missed one then just join these you'll be seeing that we will be getting hexagonal structure yes okay and there we have five hexagons bordering our pentagon now we see we are getting a small arrowhead like structure here we will use these three and add two more to each of them to get five more pentagons there it is done now we see here we have four electrons left we will be using them to draw more hexagons five of them to be precise first draw what should be parallel to these lines up here and join them to the edges getting the hexagons so here it is we have done them right now we are seeing that we are getting four dot structures once again but this time in the alternate positions of the ones we previously got so here also we will be drawing hexagons but this time make the gaps very very small or else you won't be getting the circular structure that Buckminster Fullerton is well known for there it is we have done it now only a little bit is left now we see that there are six hexagons surrounding our pentagon five pen sorry five hexagons surrounding our central pentagon now what we have to do is draw five carbon electrons in each of these hexagons like i did here join them we will be seeing that we will be getting a bigger pentagon surrounding our first smaller pentagon now draw lines in the hexagons surrounding the vertices of the bigger pentagon and join them to the vertices of the pentagon now remember the last pieces of small hexagons we drew here 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 and here 
they have two electrons on the outer edge right join each of the lines you just drawn to two of the imme two immediate carbon electrons i showed you and here it is you have got the buckminster fuller ring drawn right in front of you to see that it has 15 pentagons and no more sorry 12 pentagons and no more let us count right so you have got one you have got two you have got the smaller pentagons 3 4 5 6 6 and 7 and here also you have got another pentagon and total five of them so you will be having 7 plus 5 a total of 12 pentagons and as a result you will also be getting 20 hexagons right so the 20 hexagons and 15 pentagons will together be making up our very own C60 Buckminster fullerene so you can just do the standard youtube stuff you know like the video leave a comment and if you want to subscribe to the channel so that if we publish any such new videos in which we adventure into the world of science you will be getting them on the first note so thank you guys have a good day and see you in